Hello, Collective Rose Warrior One here with a message for you today. I'm so excited. We have a, a brand new setup kind of here. Just a new angle, a new way of, of dishing out these videos to you. I was really excited to get in front of my huge window here in my living room and just have the sun kind of hit this room a bit while I get these readings to you. Just something more light, more bright here. That way we have more positive flowing energy. Holy Spirit, lead us to the truth today. Guide me here. Protect my vessel. Shed a golden vibration, a golden ray of light, a golden white ray of light over this entire space here. And for the ancestors to come through of the highest white light as well as the angelic guides for my collective, whoever I'm reading for today. Ashe. So we may begin. I hope you're doing well, collective. Let's go ahead and see what we have here. I'm going to start with our oracle spread and then we'll pull some more oracle possibly. So we have, looks like sensuality. Wow, that card kind of slipped out here. I'll just read it. So I have confrontation. Pick your battles wisely. So something about confrontation. You could have been having some sort of mishap here. We have sensuality, express your sensuality, and then we have dragonfly, it says live life to the fullest. So with this dragonfly here, I'm getting that you are in a mature state of your spiritual walk here. You're finally realizing and understanding things about yourself. You're understanding how life works, the ebb and flow here, life and death processes here. This could be physically that you've understood this. I saw 144 here on the clock. Let me write that down. Or you could have actually just began to understand that there's a life and death process to everything. The ego, the way our mind works, the way our careers work. There's a, a life and death to it here. Sometimes we leave old paradigms to enter new ones here in order to see that brand new path, in order to walk along that road here that we feel is divinely appointed for us. We do have to allow things to die out, literally. And sometimes we grow apart from certain situations, people, or spaces. Even if this is a workspace here, we grow apart from these things because spirit wants us to live life to our fullest. So if anything is removing this ability for you to live life to your fullest, it's no wonder it would be taken away from you and or it would change or transform in order for you to, to be able to see things clear. Energy needs to become clear is what I'm getting here. 244 four on the clock here. Something about the number 44. You could be seeing 144, 244, 744. You could be seeing a lot of numbers with 44 at the end. This is foundational guidance here. You're being guided by angelic energies in order to see you through this reality here. You do need benevolent forces in assistance with you because we never do it alone. Spirit is saying you never do it alone, but you are being guided with a team in support of you, your ancestors, your guides are here to help you live life to the fullest. I see you are getting intact with nature. You could be seeing a very specific bird. You could have seen a rare bird or a rare animal recently. This is because you are a rare spirit. I saw 333 on the clock here. You're a rare spirit and you're coming into alignment because your mind, your body, and your spirit are now understanding how to work in unison, how to work in harmony. So now you can live your life to the fullest here. Because you're in harmony, you're starting to understand your sensuality. This card says express your sensuality. So spirit wants you to express your sensual nature, your divine femininity. Even if you're a divine masculine, there's still a sensual nature to divine masculine as well as what I'm getting here. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest here. If you would like a personal reading, hit me up below for that, okay? Thank you for your donations. I have most of the donators from the past two months here. I have everything written down and I'm going to be getting a really big prayer out to everyone while this full moon or new moon in I believe Scorpio is coming up here. I definitely want to do a lot of prayer work. So if you would like to get on that donation book here, you can donate to the page at any point in time, okay? Thank you for your personal bookings as well for readings. I appreciate it. So back to the reading here, we have sensuality. There is something sensual, sensual. I almost saw, I almost thought sexual, right? 
So there are two different things here. Spirit is guiding me to let some of you know here that your sensuality and your sexuality are two different things. Do your research to really find what that means for you, but your sensuality is coming from the sacral chakra here. In order for you to really discover this divine nurture, this divine quality that you have here, to exude confidence, to exude nurture, to exude femininity, warmth, <clears throat> is what I'm getting here. Something about your throat chakra as well could be clearing up because she is wearing this butterfly pendant. So you could be a divine masculine or divine feminine here who wears necklaces kind of like this or even more closer to the neck here. Spirit is saying to wear a lot more throat chakra necklaces or necklaces with a lot of blue on them as well. This will help you clear up your throat chakra here. But she does have a butterfly. So something about transforming the way that you express yourself transforming the way that you express your sensuality is important because you have a rainbow of knowledge you have a rainbow of love of creativity to give here something about sensuality and the sacral chakra is it is tied in with your creativity so when you're able to express yourself in the way that you feel best in the type of clothing the type of colors the type of way you like to speak, the type of music you like to speak, all this could be expressing your sensuality. This helps you get intact with yourself, knowing yourself on a divine level. When you're able to do this on a divine level, you're able to tap into your twin flame energy here and attract that energy to you because you have this overflow and this overpour within is what I'm getting here. Very specific message here. But I am seeing someone unlocking themselves is what's going on. Let's go ahead and get one more card here, Spirit. We had two cards. Wow. We have Angels of Miracles or Angel of Miracles. This is open your heart and expect a miracle. I do see a smaller angel as well. So there could be a miracle with a child. There could be someone who's having a child here. You could have already had a child or just found out you were pregnant. You don't have to. But this is the energy that I'm picking up on. Remember to take what resonates. As always, if you're new here, remember to follow the streamline of consciousness. But remember, it is a collective read here. So I'm picking up on many different signs, synchronicities, and numbers as well. In order for us to really see something clear individually as well as for each other, okay? So just take what's yours, as always. Open your heart and expect a miracle. Tells me there is something coming in here about... I heard love and finances here. So there could be a miracle within your love life. This could even deal with platonic friendships. This can be a miracle with a friendship. This can be a miracle with a family member as well. I'm also seeing this finance here. You could have been travel. I'm hearing traveling the city, walking the city, stressed, worried about how am I going to figure out how to pay this bill? How am I going to figure out how to pay this certain you know, debt that I have, something that I, I really need to take care of financially is pretty much what I'm picking up on. Spirit says to expect miracles and to know that as a divine soul, as someone who is awakened to their path and wants to embody a stronger creative force within themselves, sometimes you have to learn that expecting good things is just as powerful as our brain can sometimes, unfortunately, expect negative things, just like our brain can fixate on you might not have enough. You might not. It might not be, you know, the right thing to do. You might not be able to step over there before something goes wrong. The way your brain can give you all these scenarios and you end up manifesting your fears. Why not manifest miracles here by believing that they can happen for you, by believing and knowing that these energies can work out in your favor? Instead of letting it go, use any energy that you are around at this time in order to morph it, transmute it, right, into something of belief, into something of faith. I'm just hearing, I'm hearing something clear and it says you can pick yourself up is what I'm getting. So with this expect a miracle, it says open your heart. 
It literally says, open your heart and expect a miracle here. I'm speaking as someone who's a leader. You could be a Leo, Leo sun, moon, or rising here. It says, set your goals. So spirit is definitely showing me here that you're learning how to embrace your, your body. You're learning how to embrace your face, your skin, your hair, just all the things that make you naturally you. You're learning to embrace this here. Then you're moving into this living life, right? You're starting to realize you have life to live. You have you have a life to experience, right? So now you know that there's miracles that want to come in this life of experience here and that you deserve a good life and to experience good things too, not just negative situations or people. So you are realizing that you do have to set goals here. You are a leader. Let's go ahead and pull some tarot. So yeah, you could definitely be a Leo here. You could be a Pisces. You could be a Sagittarius. And you could be an Aquarius Libra is what I'm getting here. You don't have to be, but these are the energies I picked up on intuitively. So like we said in the beginning, there could have been some sort of confrontation recently, or you could have just had situations that felt a little negative. Whether it be in dreams, whether it be in a meditative state, you are working on transmuting negative thoughts into more positive ones. Some of you could have actually had certain people say something very specific to you that made you feel you had to defend someone else or defend yourself or defend what you do here. Spirit wants you to know you have been given the wand, not a wand, the wand of protection and the wand to speak. So as you see in the seven of wands here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, there is a dragon literally protecting you with you and guiding you here. And you are protected to live out your truth, to be there for others in the way that you see fit. If anyone tries to come in your way, you they have to see it up with God. They have to see it up with your guides. Because the seven of wands is giving me the energy that people don't always want to see you win and we know this here but people actually go out of their way to point fingers to, for some of you here so you have been feeling the need to protect yourself for some sort of reason here we do have scorpio energy coming out with death and rebirth i was picking up on this energy this morning as well as right before this message here we have scorpio energy here capricorn taurus here with ten of pentacles as well as a little bit of Virgo. And then we have the fire suit. So we have Scorpio, the earth suit, and the fire suit here. So what I'm getting is you went through a huge transformation and this has now set you up to understand how to receive your 10 of Pentacles from within, how to give yourself abundance from this tapped in reservoir that you now have. You have always had it, but you now see it. The veil has been lifted because of the work you've been doing in order to see how you can obtain your Ten of Pentacles because your Ten of Pentacles has always been meant for you. You're inheriting it now. The Ten of Pentacles also speaks of family. So I could be speaking to someone who's definitely expecting some sort of miracle here. It says, Angel of Miracles. <clears throat> it says, expect a miracle. So there could be some sort of finance or financial upgrade that's coming up here. Even if it's a hundred dollars that came out of the blue, Spirit says when you're grateful for that that gift, there you go, that hundred dollars that comes in, a hundred more comes, and then ten more comes, and then a hundred more, and then ten more, and then eventually you're like, wow, I'm manifesting a flow of money because I'm building a positive relationship with it. So you're learning how to set these goals financially as well as vigorously on, I'm hearing fitness, I'm also hearing computer skills, I'm also hearing education, I'm also hearing books. So something about really getting down to your goals and getting down to what matters to you all. Remember, take what resonates here as I'm reading for a lot of different people. But there is some sort of financial breakthrough that is meant to happen for you as you set your goals and as you fix yourself on 
where you can use your courage, where you can utilize this information that spirit gives you in this now time. Because I'm getting this big Leo energy. I'm telling you, Leo and Aries are showing up here. You went through a transformation number 13, death and rebirth here. With the Scorpio energy, I am picking up that you are now learning the difference between sexuality and sensuality. You're learning the ebb and flow of your divine femininity. You're learning how to heal old ways of viewing your nature. And you're learning to adopt new healthy ways of viewing your nature. Nature meaning the way that you just are. With this scorpionic energy here, you could have really been put in positions where you had to really face yourself. You had to really understand yourself at times when no one else around you was willing to help. This could have made you feel very alone and you could have felt very dark for the last couple weeks or for some of you even the last couple months. But something is lightening up now. You're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Seven of Wands, Spirit. Seven of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, like I said. There is definitely this Earth energy here showing up. So you could be an Earth sign. You could be a Fire sign or you could be a Scorpio or a Leo here, okay? But what I am getting is that there is an influx of energy coming in in the form of abundance, but in the form of material possessions and success as well. This could mean you've been working on getting a brand new pair of shoes because you really need a new pair of shoes, but you like nice shoes, right? You wanna get quality ones. Well, this is like spirit is blessing you with the money to be able to go and get something that you really need that maybe you've been holding out on because you really needed to you know, save money or save some sort of essence of energy in order to i'm getting four of pentacles in my mind so you could be a taurus here for sure we are in taurus season the spirit says don't grip too hard because you have to expect miracles but you got to open your heart for those miracles to come in so you do have money on its way to you you do whoever i'm speaking to the fact that you care so much about your reality and about diving into this energy says everything it needs to say yeah ace of cups cancer Pisces and Scorpio. This came to clarify the death card here. So we've got Scorpio energy twice as well as Cancer and Scorpio. I mean in Cancer and Pisces. But I said Scorpio again, so there's probably a Scorpio here that definitely needs to hear this message. Everything is symbolic on my page here. So you have Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups both coming out to clarify. You have brand new beginnings coming in for you. New beginnings with people, new beginnings with healing the heart, and therefore, through the heart here, you can expect miracles, and you can expect financial miracles, and you can expect things to turn out in your favor. You can expect that new car. You can expect the keys to that new house because you're doing the work. That's the whole point, is that you meet spirit halfway because you're in co-creation, meaning there's a team. There's two captains here. You're the captain, and then big G-O-D, big God, divine, is your coach, helping you through, but also creating with you. As there's an experience, the divine wants to also feel through you as well. So it says, open your heart, literally is what it says here, and expect a miracle. So that's what I'm getting here. This death and rebirth here, really brought a new understanding of life. It brought a new understanding of your heart and the way to articulate the emotions within that heart. You're just understanding how you're maturing and how you can utilize this new profound energy. You wanna use it. You want to actually use this charge up of a moment here on your life. I can sense this, which is why you're charging forward, setting goals, and you're focused on living life to the fullest. You could resonate with a lion, with dragonflies at this time. You can resonate with unicorns. That's what I'm getting here. Sorry, I'm trying to look at everything. 
these cards want to come out. Let me just let them go. So we have three of wands and the unknown. But this card in my deck tells me that someone here is a mystic. You know how to use crystal work. You know how to use meditation. You know how to use transmutation of energy into another form. You know how to manifest. You know how to tap into the void, tap into the Akashic records. Whoever I'm speaking to you could be a high priestess, a high priest, or some type of an oracle energy where you understand the laws of the universe naturally. You get downloads as well. You could read oracle or tarot for yourself as well. But you're now learning that with this three of wands here, destiny is waiting for you to be ready to take that next step because there's this journey here and there are mountains so there might be challenges ahead here but you're learning that you have this hidden potential this is leo sagittarius and aries any of these signs that i mentioned could be sun moon rising mercury venus or your north node here any of the signs i mentioned on any reading just for the future with this three of wands here you're definitely realizing your psychic abilities right they were unknown. This is the unknown, literally the unknown card. So something was unknown and then it became spirit is saying it just became <laughs> meaning when you're just yourself, when you are just as you feel, just as you are, just as you live. You're able to ring in your gifts from a place of just being, just relaxing, just letting it flow in or not. Literally, this is what detachment can look like too, is what I'm getting. You got into a place where you became detached and you told yourself, if my ancestors are gonna bless me with these gifts, psychic gifts, intuitive gifts, money, inheritance, they're just gonna bring it to me when the time is right and I'm gonna sit here and do my work, however hard I need to work. I'll do that, but I'm going to sit back and I'm going to relax. My ancestors will protect me and guide me, which is why you could see wolf spirits in your dreams, or you could have a wolf spirit. You could have a tattoo of a wolf like me, but you are definitely heavily protected here. Very specific message coming through. But I do see potential opening up here and I do see a dragon. This is the second dragon in the reading here. This is a baby dragon here. So you have protection in all ways, shapes, and forms. And I do see a candle here. So you have an ancestor who is also guiding you along this path while you unlock this potential, while you unlock this reality for yourself. She's seen ho holding a ball of light. And you're literally holding that here again in both pictures. Something about holding your light. Something about holding the truth. Learning how to share it. Bringing things to awareness from unconsciousness to consciousness here. So something about Christ consciousness or raising your vibration here. Anything else, Spirit, for this reading today? Wow. Something is definitely changing. We've got five of swords here. Like I said, you could have had confrontations, conflicts, or some sort of ending of a cycle recently with this Five of Swords. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. There could have been a situation where you felt you couldn't uphold your end of a certain deal or a certain task that you really wanted to provide for. Maybe you wanted to provide for a family or provide for a friend or a relationship and you were unable to do so because spirit called you to focus on yourself and then spirit called the other parties of people to focus on themselves. So people might have had to split up and walk away from each other at some point. Remember, this is energy that I'm reading, so it doesn't have to happen this exact way, but this is the energy that I'm picking up on. If you catch my drift here. I'm picking up on someone who's very clear about how they want to live their life, but it's the energies around you that weren't clear. So things had to die out, right? And had to reform. 
transmute and transform. This is that death and rebirth, that scorpionic energy, I'm telling you. But there is some sense of self-defense energy or needing, needing to defend yourself. Maybe because people just weren't seeing you at this time or in, in the recent past. Whenever you're watching this, this is just for some of you is what I'm hearing. A lot of you probably aren't dealing with others at this time at all. <laughs> so there's no problems that really could arise because you're not dealing with people like that. Yeah, the moon. You could be dealing with a cancer or you could be a cancer sun moon arising here. But we have three wolves now coming out in this reading here. I also see a crow or a raven. So there's lots of crows, ravens, lions, dragonflies, dragons. Lots of spirit animals here that some of you could resonate with. I also see a deer, reindeer. But we have three wolves here. We've got one wolf, two, three. So something about wolves, I'm telling you. Some of y'all have a wolf spirit or you have wolf spirit protection. Some of you could be Native American. Some of you could resonate with Navajo. Some of you could resonate with Hopi. I'm also hearing Mexico City. And I'm also hearing Egypt. So these are just things that I'm hearing at this time. But I am seeing that there's this highly protected essence about you. You're meant to be very protected and to walk a certain path. To build a lineage up. To build a castle of your dreams. Take that how that resonates. But something about the next full moon is going to be very specific and revealing of who you are, where you should be stepping, and who's really in protection and loyal to you. In that essence of like someone really planting themselves in your life, wanting to be loyal, wanting to be that for you, or you want to be that for someone else. Remember, you can flip-flop these roles according to your situation. Use your discernment here. But yeah, lots of good energy. Lots of good energy. The only thing I see here is this Five of Swords, which could be people walking away from each other, maybe because of miscommunications, overboard, as well as what I literally just heard, overboard. Maybe someone could have went overboard here with something that they said or something that they did. But nonetheless, there are new beginnings coming in for you. Clearly, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, You've got literally brand new beginnings. And this is embedded in your system. So you already have this in your body. Tell yourself, I already have my Ace of Cups. I already have my Ace of Pentacles. I just have to embody this and bring it out clear. But yes, with this Cancer energy here, you are definitely, like I said, bringing things from unconsciousness right to be being unconscious to something or unaware to something and you're bringing it to awareness is what i'm getting here very specific message today take what resonates i'm going to be back with more zodiac readings ashe and so we may have a great day peace